What's up, guys? How you doing? Yo. Scary, right? Scary title, scary revelation, scary everything. And I remember I was just saying this the other day to myself that I feel like towards the end of the years when weird things relating to my health reveal themselves, I do not know why. And I'll never get to know why. But I'm 27 and it seems like every single time there's something new and I've just decided I want to live my life. I want to live it according to how i want it according to my own expectations according to what makes me happy and that's because no one's life is guaranteed right and it will not be no make it too gloomy but the main reason why i wanted to do this video was so that girls because this one is speaking to health of so many women out there we need to be aware of our bodies like <laughs> I'll get into the story, but let me just actually tell you the important part of it. Like why I decided to do those videos. Simply because I think the one thing that we might be taking for granted as human beings is our body speaking to us and us trying to understand our bodies and realizing when something is amiss that we need to do something about it. So I'm gonna dive into the story. The month of October, well, not the same month of October, let's start with the rest of the year, actually, from the beginning. So I've been having issues with having my menstrual cycle, my mashiros, they've not been coming regularly, right? And so that means, first there's that panic side where, okay, why am I missing my periods and all that? And then there's that side of, ah. Oh, it's fine if I miss them. Or sometimes, like, I feel like we get to a point as women where we're so tired of just having periods. And if you miss, you're just like, yes. But then again, at that point, you need to realize that your body is actually selling you something opposite. Because you need to actually, normally, people need to have periods. Normally, I'm sorry, I might be talking from an ignorant point of view here. But that's not my intention. So... I noticed that I didn't have like normal period the, this this year, this most of this year, and then I'm just gonna skip the rest of the month and land to October. Actually, August, September, October. So August, I didn't see my period. September, I saw my period, but it was very weird, like not normal, right? And then I'm just like, okay, and I think I actually didn't see my period in September. So in October, my body starts. You know when you're having the ex the what you call it the discharge leading towards the period that leading towards the what you call it leading towards your period time and all that this time around was quite different and i'm like what is going on then to my mind i'm like okay maybe it's because i missed the other sessions or rather the other months so like my body is not acting normally or reacting to situations the same way that i would expect it to be and then i'm like okay let me let me let me play it out so i actually did speak to my friend audrey about this and notice like no jenny actually need to see a doctor and i'm like i talk myself out of it again so what happened is this in october like i think from the second week of, of the month i was having a very weird discharge in the sense that the smell was different it felt like pee so even if i had my panty liner so this is a lot of information too much even if i had my panty liner it would get wet to a point where i think i'm peeing on myself or something like that so i would change frequently and i'm like but why am i changing my pads or my 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 my, my panty liner you understand this much and then it had a crazy smell as well it was very uncomfortable to me so i was just like oh, what is this so every time i'd go to the loo i needed to wash you understand so just that I could keep it, keep off the, the nasty, nasty smell. Um, I feel it's really good just talking about, it. oh, nasty. Anyway, so I was like, okay, maybe, but sure enough, still me convincing myself. Maybe it's because of what happened in the previous months and me missing my periods and all that, right? And then at some point, it changes from just this jet to like, there's like spots of blood in it. And I'm like, okay, maybe my periods are coming then on tuesday when was it so that past week past week yes on tuesday i start my period 
on a normal basis and actually this is what i was talking about curls you needing to understand your body and how your body works and all that stuff i usually have like a three-day cycle mostly right and if it goes longer maybe four days and usually it's the first second day where i have like a lot of a lot of, of flow but not too much flow right and then um it's also like um oh, i just told my mother this is breaking me anyway i'll come back to it again <laughs> so it's also like okay i don't use much per, so say a pack of 16 i'll probably use like 8 to 12 of them per cycle right so maybe not even 8 to 12 so if i first day i tend to change maybe two times or three times because it doesn't get that full so roughly eight to twelve on the most right and then now this time tuesday at uh oh no tuesday yeah tuesday happened to change twice and then on wednesday morning i so I went to work at eight and then around 10 i actually as i'm getting up to go to the bathroom removing my my pants my, my pants i see i've soiled it i'm like what's going on then as i'm like wanting to pee i see the pad extremely full and i'm like okay something is completely wrong here so i also started feeling pains at that time and i'm like okay it's my boss i'm really having bad cramps which i was really having like they were there and sort of like not there so i was like okay cool you can go work from home and also it was just a way for me to also like come out and come out of the discomfort clothes because once you saw it yourself like you got, don't get that memory out of your head and really enough i was wearing red pants crazy enough i wanted to wear white pants that day so i was just like yo what if i actually want those white pants you know okay so i get home i'm working i go change after two hours then again i go change up to two hours. then again i go change up and the whole time i kept on swelling myself and nikama like it's like Someone had opened a tap, like you come on fridge in Mokuguli, you just hear the boom, boom, boom coming out in terms of blood. And I'm like, ah, oh, Jen, are you really okay? But then I'm like, okay, I'm fine because I didn't have my period and my body is reacting. And that's what I'm convincing myself on. Fast forward to Saturday. So, not Saturday, Friday at 1 pm, I started feeling like heavy, 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 heavy cramps. I rarely have cramps. Like, I generally do not get cramp pains like period pains but if i do it's usually before or two days or a day before my periods and it's usually at my back not my my tummy area really on my tummy area so this one is tummy area in like it's like something is pulling and it goes away then pulling and it goes away so that was 1 p.m it continued the whole night and then i took painkillers like some of the strongest painkillers i have don't know nothing and me me i usually don't take painkillers actually when i'm having my period so like you can imagine the intensity of the pain that i have to a point where i don't need painkillers but this time around i'm taking painkillers and nothing is happening and then at 2 a.m in the morning it gets worse so i think i took the painkiller that time then i was able to sleep but when i woke up at six in the morning i'm just like okay i can't anymore so my the pain intensity went higher the Frequency also went higher in the sense that it will go and then maybe stay like 10 minutes and it goes and comes in. But now it was more like every five minutes, it will go and like the pain comes like it's a pulley. Like I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. Women, you'll understand. If there's a man who's watching this, maybe you'll not understand what I'm talking about when it comes to pure pain. But yeah, so fast forward through the day i think at some point i was like i did post asking people what what is the remedy and in my mind i was just like i'm just trying to find out what i can do because maybe someone had more people do have more painful cramps than i do so maybe someone has mastered a way of managing it during the time if the painkillers are not working i was the most i could get from people was sleep i'm like okay but that wasn't working you understand let's fast forward to 6 30 me i'm like I, I get this sharp pain again and this this also brings me to how crazy the like how crazy things happen like god is just crazy so the previous night had gone out for like to get some food and then now i have the aluminium foil takeaway box and i've gone to me too but like i put it in the dustbin 
And I was like, ah, can I go just take out my whole dustbin out? Then I was like, no, let me lie down for a few minutes because now I'm in pain. When the pain goes away, then I can go throw away the dustbin. So I did it. Then 6.30, I sneeze. So this is where the sneeze, the sneeze comes in. I sneeze and I feel something between my legs, like at my vagina area. I'm like, what is that? So I try pressing my legs. You know, sometimes like, then you usually think like, oh, there's like air stuck between like at your vagina area and whatnot. So I'm like, ah, maybe it's that. Then I'm like, okay, let me go to the bathroom. Now better talk. Guys, this is now where the confusion comes in. It's like, I was about to sneeze. And I feel like every time I sneeze, I go back to that moment. So as soon as I get to the bathroom, my voice panty, I'm, I'm bending. And then I just hear, boom. I was like, shit. What is that? Like, in a span of two seconds or three seconds, the tears that were coming down my face, the confusion that was in my head. I'm like, oh, oh. What if this is a uter my whole uterus coming out? Oh, shit, what if this is an ovary? Am I ever going to get pregnant? Am I ever going to get babies and whatnot? And now I'm just like, okay, what is happening to me? Oh, what if this is... What is so many questions in my head. Yani, na, in the tears and the confusion, I go to the bathroom, I come out of the bathroom, I go to my bedroom, I come out of the bedroom, I go to the kitchen, and I'm like, okay, what do I do? Do I flash this thing? And I'm like, no, I don't want to flash it because I need to know what is going on with me. And... So I was like, okay, fine. Jane, calm down. Remember that aluminum foil container that I got, I was talking about? I went and took it from the dustbin. I came and looked for something. I could scoop this thing out of the toilet with. I called my friend Audrey. And I was like, Audrey, are you around? I need to go to the doctor. And luckily, Audrey was not around. So the sister was around. My other baby sister. And the, and the cousin. And they came. Now we go to the hospital. And this is also the other important part I wanted to talk about. If you are, especially here in SA, if you're in a position where you need to get a medical aid, please make sure you have a medical aid, like as soon as possible. I've not been able to get onto a medical aid because I've been looking for a cheaper one in the sense that, oh, they're too expensive and sometimes we need to balance our finances and all that. But with time, I've tried to train myself to understand that, listen, nothing is, no amount of money is worth my health. That's the honest truth. When I, when I I know the conditions that I have, I know what is going on with my body. I need to treat my body as if something would happen anytime. I, I get to the hospital and then, so I went to NetCare, one of those private hospitals. And luckily, like I was so happy to meet this lady, one of the nurses there. She was like, okay, what's wrong? Can you explain to me? I explained to her. And then, you know, the confusion, I'm still just crying because that's how I deal with stress. I'm crying and then I'm like, I just need to know what this is you understand like i'm in a state of i don't know what happened to my body i just need to know what this is and mind you as soon as that thing came out of my body my pain stopped you understand so she's like okay what i need you to do is go ask the, the guy over there the cashier how much you'd have to pay because i don't want you to pay an arm and a leg here and yet it, you could pay something small so i was like okay let me go ask this, this man don't tell me 1.8 just to open a file 1.1 just to see the doctor they've not done anything to me at that particular time no blood test nothing like so all in all this guy was like you might end up paying like 10k and when i was leaving my house I was like there's no amount of money worth my health at this moment luckily at that particular moment i remembered and this is where you know, like i'm so grateful for this direct community because just having knowing that wherever you are there's a community and of course you get doctors you get engineers you get everyone who is who amongst that clique and once you've introduced to these people you get to know them so the doctor that i actually ended up seeing that particular night is someone who's an alumni from the stereo community and i felt like yo this was so much love for me in the sense that this person was already in their house and then i have lexi and, and ian on this particular side who were like willing to drive me anywhere and now we're moving from it was a good 21 minute drive right from Victoria East to to Sunnyside to go see the doctor and I see the doctor and he gives me the best treatment and then like does the test on me and the amount of money I ended up paying was not as much as what I would have paid on this side and then it's just like I think this could be a fibroid 
sure enough even during the test we realized that i had an infection as well and i was just like fibroid me have never had such a thing in my life you understand so he explains to me what exactly it is and this is what is actually right <laughs> this is what exactly he, he explained it to me and why it was actually dislodged out of my body and also in the process i got to learn of the different fibroids like there's also that grow within the wall that you actually need to go to the doctor to get it removed some end up where a woman gets the whole uterus removed mine was this one that dangles outside so at the moment where i'm sitting i'm just like okay because the best i could have done at this particular moment as i'm speaking to you is take the the sample to the doctor to to the lab who's still waiting for results on it so that i can probably get to know the cause of treatment moving forward or rather maybe get to know if there's any food that affects it because i know someone asked me what triggers the cramp pains i'm like there's nothing that triggers them but maybe they could be that so i need to actually understand my body in that aspect and then also like okay what's the cause of treat treatment with this fiber because you remember when i said if at that particular moment as this thing came out of my body i was even asking myself questions as to, such as will i ever get children you know and if that's an important part, part of me then that means i need, really need to take care of myself in the sense that now i know that there's a possibility of me having those things so what's the cause of treatment so i think me telling you the story sure enough there's that sneeze in it like i don't even understand like every time i want to talk about it i'm like how do i find out from a sneeze that i have a fibroid you know you see how crazy it is like it takes a sneeze like even sneezing just traumatizes me at this moment i feel like if i sneeze that thing is gonna come out any particular moment so i think generally what, what i'm trying to tell you is in short words try and understand your body and when something is amiss or something is not happening happening right with your body especially your mental menstrual cycle any other thing it means your body is trying to communicate to you that something is not right do not try talking yourself out of going out of the, going to the doctor because i really did talk myself out of going to the doctor that whole month and i knew something was wrong i could feel something was wrong because of the discharge not being normal smell not being normal color not being normal uh thickness or things like those feeling like oh it said a sweat or, or pee or something like that. that that's not normal so i should have actually gone to the doctor and probably we would have known that there's something wrong with me a little early and maybe i could have prevented having those pains for that number of hours that i had such pain but also at the same time i'm grateful that i found out the way that i did because what if i continuously i rather i didn't find out that i have this thing right through that sneeze and then and then it doesn't come out all right and then the next time or rather i keep on missing my periods and i'm like yay jackpot but it's not really a jackpot and then i end up finding out down the line when it's already too late i mean maybe there's cervical cancer maybe there's the 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 the, the, the infection has become extreme to a point where it's causing other diseases and all that you know so just i think overally what i'm trying to say is understand your body and if something is not right with you take action on it especially as women because it's a things that affect us every day like maybe the the, the, the foods that we're eating maybe the eco the, the environmental factors and whatnot is what may have may have affected me to a point where now i'm subjected to this and also like when the doctor's like oh you're only 27 you shouldn't be getting those things we also need to understand that our diets are also changing the type of food that we're eating is also changing so of course our bodies are also going to respond to these things differently so yeah long story short sorry for making you, your time a bit gloomy and bringing this to my timeline but i i was really battling if i needed to share this but and i'm, I'm happy i'm sharing it because it could be something that will help someone else realize that something is wrong with them i also need to sit back try find out if this is something that was within the family or whether it could affect someone else you understand because now it's bigger than me it's not just about me it's about okay what if someone else within my my family is also suffering from this you see yeah so bottom line health is important and i'm trying to deal with it in the sense that i'm still traumatized in a way but hopefully 
I will get out of it. Yeah, so thanks for watching and hope you listen and I'll see you next time in the next video. Alright.